Good morning or afternoon. Hi, friends. I just want to play our morning song because I miss seeing y'all dance. And I know that y'all think Miss Stroud's dancing is a little bit silly, but Miss Stroud loves to dance. It was the baila. Okay, so we are going to do some online learning, guys. So this is our Kindergarten Paragon Mills YouTube page. And I know Miss Hollis put a welcome video up. Thank you, Miss Hollis. Okay, so. I want you guys to look at this channel, okay? Every week, we're gonna have at least five or six videos up from all the kindergarten teachers to you kindergartners because we love you and we miss you. And even though we are at home, we can still learn. That's so cool. We're gonna talk all about somebody who did that today. But before we do that, I just want you guys to take a minute because these times are kind of crazy and you might be going, a little bit loco staying in your home. You might feel a little bit bored or tired. You might miss your friends. I miss my friends. I miss you guys. But we can still be thankful and grateful, happy for what we have. So I want you to take a minute to just think of one or two, uno o dos, things that you are thankful for, that you're happy that you have even in this time. So for me, I'm thankful for my roommate, Mary, who's also my best friend. And I'm also thankful for my family. I got to go home to Chattanooga to see them for about a month. And that was so nice and it made me feel so happy because I miss my family and I don't live with them anymore because I'm an adult. So I, I would love for you to take a minute or two, pause the video and talk to someone at your house about one or two things that you are thankful for. Okay, so we are gonna get right into learning. Okay, so we're gonna talk about science today. Okay, now science is what we do at school usually at the end of the day. It's where we talk about how we, un how we know and understand the world around us. So I know that in kindergarten so far we've talked about hmm, weather, we've talked about animals, we've talked about ooh, pushing and pulling, motion. We're going to keep talking about that today. Okay, so I'm gonna share my screen with you guys. We're all getting used to this new technology. There it is. Okay, so today we're gonna talk about a man named Sir Isaac Newton. Now that's kind of silly. He had a sir in front of his name. And that's because he's from England. And in England, instead of a president, they have a queen. And the queen at that time knighted Isaac Newton. That means that he was so important to their kingdom and to their country that she felt that he should have a sir in front of his name. That's pretty cool. So we're gonna get right on started to talk about him. He was a scientist. So he tried to understand all kinds of things around the world. He was born in England on a farm. And just like you and me, when he was young, he went to school. Now, Isaac found that he didn't really like school, but he was smart. His parents took him out of school when he was just small to work on the farm. And he kept reading though when he was at home. I hope that you guys are reading every day. So finally, he begged his parents to let him go back to school and he went to college, which is where you go when you're done with high school. And he studied there and he was curious. Hmm, that's a fancy word. Curious means that you want to know something. It's like the curious garden, our friend Liam was curious. It means you want to know something. So he wanted to know all about science and the world around him. He was so excited to keep learning that he was going to become a teacher at his school, Cambridge. But a tragedy happened. That means something very sad. What happened was that a deadly disease took over his city of London and they had to shut down his school and he had to go back home. Hmm. Does that sound kind of like something that's happening right now? Yeah, it kind of does. It's kind of like what's happening to us with this virus that we have. We have to stay home. And I know that's sad, I miss you, but guess what? Do you think that stopped someone like Isaac Newton from learning? No. Guys, he kept on reading at home. He kept on trying to figure out more and more about science and even math too. And he made a very 
famous discovery, one of the most famous and special scientific discoveries from his house, from his house, okay? He was outside one day and he was sitting by his apple tree. Now we're gonna have to pretend here because we're at home. We're gonna pretend this blanket behind me right here is the apple on his apple tree. He noticed something. One day he was just sitting outside and what, what? the apple fell. And he knew that things do not fall unless they are pushed or pulled. But he said, there was nothing pulling or pushing the apple. He realized that there's an invisible force, invisible, you cannot see it, called gravity. And gravity is what brought the apple down. See this pin, even if I throw it up, it's gonna come down because when it gets to a certain point, gravity is gonna bring it down. Isaac Newton discovered, came up with gravity from his own house. What? Think of all the things we could do from our own houses. Wow, so that's a picture of the apple that fell from the tree. He also loved math, you guys. But this last page is about his impact. Impact is a fancy word for kind of the legacy somebody leaves behind, which just means how they changed the world or how we've talked about how they changed their community. But he changed the world even because he came up with all these scientific and mathematic things to help us that we still study today. That's his impact. That's how he changed the world. We still study gravity and calculus, the kind of math he came up with. We still study those today. That's so cool. And you know what's even cooler? Is that gravity, he came up with that from his house. They put a statue, as you can see, of him in London up there. He came up with all of these things from his house. So I know that it's hard and it's kind of scary right now and we don't really know what's going on, but that doesn't mean we stop learning. If Isaac Newton learned things from his house, so can we. I think that is so cool. So what I want you guys to do is with an adult or older brother, sister, or cousin at home, I want you to write about two things. First, uno, I want you to escribe, write about one thing that you learned about Isaac Newton. You could talk about how he didn't love school. You could talk about how he was smart. You could talk about the gravity he made up. You could talk about anything we learned in that book. Two, dos, escribe, write what you can do to learn and change the community at home. Maybe you learn to play fetch with your dog in a new way that your dog loves that helps him be happy in the quarantine. Maybe you think of a new recipe and help your mom cook. That can change your community. It doesn't have to be a big scientific discovery, but it can be a little scientific discovery that you come up with from your house, which is so cool. So I want you to think and write about that. And maybe in the comments, share some things and some pictures. You guys know that all the teachers, we all have some kind of app to communicate with you, whether it's texting or Blooms, Dojo, class tag like I have. You can communicate with us if you need anything in the comments. And also the site that I used to show you the book is called Epic Books. And you guys can get that for free and it has so many books. So if you have Wi-Fi and even a phone or a tablet, you can look at books for kindergarten and read them online. So guys, this has been so much fun to do this for you. I miss you kindergarten. I love you. I know all of your teachers do. And I cannot wait until we're back together again. But until then, it was great to talk to you about science and Sir Isaac Newton. All right. Love you guys. See you soon.